Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mocha. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is a get ready with me. I did the easy part first. I did my brows off camera. Now I'm about to just go in and do my makeup. Um, and this is a chit chat. We're going to chop, chop it up. I don't want to be all over the place, but I'm kind of going to be all over the place. Just letting y'all know. So just follow through with me, okay? So I'm currently in Houston and I am actually looking at townhomes um oh my gosh i should have cleaned this first right brb do you miss me <laughs> all right so i'm out here looking at townhomes because i am moving to houston um very very soon september actually <laughs> very very soon and i think it's just time for a change i'm giving y'all a little like background or whatever the case might be i'm originally from new york brooklyn Brooklyn, Brooklyn, right? I'm from Brooklyn and I moved to Atlanta in September of 2020. So, this upcoming September would definitely make two years since I've been in Atlanta. Um, and I just don't feel like Atlanta is the last stop for me. And I'm not a person to wait and figure things out, and probably, you know, it's just not working. Um, I just don't feel like I'm elevating in Atlanta. And I, I I don't know. I think where I messed up was, was like when I first came out here, I should have networked like right away. And I didn't do that. So the fact that I didn't network out here right away is like, I, I feel like I it's like lost time, if that makes sense. Um, Atlanta is really big on network. Atlanta is like the place of, it's not what you know, it's who you know. You know, you really have to be outside. You really have to network to get where you want to be in Atlanta. Um, and that's my fault. Like, I should have, you know, networked right away when I got out here, but I, I didn't do that. So, I played like a homebody. I wasn't really going out like that. And the times that I did go out was more like clubs and stuff. And I'm not, I'm keeping it a second shot. I am not a club girl. Like, I don't like um, the club scenes and stuff like that. And Atlanta is a lot of, it's a lot of that. Okay, I go out once in a while, but it's not all the time. So, um, I do, I, probably later on, let me know if y'all do want, like, my pros and cons of living in Atlanta for a two-year update. Let me know, but I'm not going to go into, like, pros and cons. If y'all want a separate video, let me know in the comments, and I will definitely try to, like, make that for you guys more in depth. But I just don't feel Atlanta's just the last stop for me. So, why did I choose Houston? So what this is this is just ironic. So one time I believe it was like last year, um, it was a weekend. Like I love traveling and I most likely travel out the country a lot. I never really visit states. So it was like the weekend, and I believe I was like, yo, I'm just gonna pack my shit and go to a state I've never been, and I picked Houston. So I went to a solo trip to Houston, and guys, well, I mean, I had a ball, like what? Like I had so, 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 so much fun. Like, Houston was such a vibe. Like, it was a vibey out here. And I'm like, nah. I was like, what? And the fact that I was by myself, it was just like the ice on the cakes. I did so much. I met so much people. I even linked one of my close friends now, one of my cool friends. Um, she's a wig designer. She lives out here. I linked her. We went to brunch. We had mad. We had. We just, I just had mad, mad fun. Like, I, like I, 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 I was in. I was just in my bag. Okay. And I'm like, yo, I, I really, I really like, really like it out here. Like, I really do. Like, I can see myself living out here. Um, and at that time, I didn't stay in the Airbnb that time, so I didn't know how the apartment styles were, but. When I went home, I tend I did look up like information like on like how Houston living is, and it's so affordable. I would say it's cheaper than Atlanta. Real shit. Like it is cheaper than Atlanta. And I'm like nah. And they and they like combs and stuff is like so it's it's fire. Like it's fire. They they townhomes is fire. They Texas big ass homes is fire. So I'm just like nah. I may if I was to relocate somewhere, it would be Houston. That would be my next stop. I think when I pack my stuff and I load that truck to come to Houston, I would know it's official, okay? But 
I'm just excited on this new venture. I'm taking a whole different state. I feel like I need it. I want it. And I'm definitely going to do differently out here than what I've been on, you know. Definitely going to network. And I'm not saying it's too late for me to network in Atlanta. I'm just over Atlanta. Like, period. I'm just over Atlanta. <laughs> I don't want to be there. And I think I got my head so stuck in Moving to Houston. I'm moving. Here. And if you don't know me, if I say I'm doing something, off rip, I'm doing it. I'm out. That's it. Like, it's no if, ands, or buts. Like, I'm out of here, okay? So, the fact that i am got my head, like, tunnel vision to moving to Houston, I'm definitely moving out here. That's just, just, just it. But, let's move on. That's just my little rant on, like, my, you know, how happy and what what is doing for me for moving um and i don't want to discourage anybody that's moving to atlanta okay if you want to move to atlanta there's nothing wrong with living in atlanta okay you just have to know and know what works for you and one thing i would definitely say atlanta you have to network in order to get where you want to get and sometimes yeah, you could be doing the biggest stuff but atlanta is really about People wanted to be in the spotlight and doing things. So you really have to network. If you don't network, you're going to feel more like in the shadows, um, not really being seen and stuff like that. But you have to network in Atlanta. That's one big thing I would say. Like when you go to, and it, it don't mean like going to parties and stuff. Like find networking events, you know. Um, if you see someone that's in the same field as you, link them up say, let's go out. Let's go out. And that's what I didn't do. That's one mistake I did in Atlanta. I didn't like network or reach out to people in the same wig um designers or content creators oh let's link up let's go i didn't i didn't do that and now is i'm not saying it's too late but i'm just so over that i don't want to be there no more that i don't see that i need to do that you get what i'm saying but i would still kind of build connections and that's the difference um i don't want to do it in houston as soon as i get out there i'm definitely like um trying to be out there more um in China just to stop step into more of my content creating thing and I'm still learning I'm not saying I'm learning but content creating have changed so much that people want to know the real you you know and working like I, I don't know about everybody else but I cannot work in TikTok work in Instagram work in YouTube it's just too much so I like something I have taught myself is consistency it's better than no consistency and consistency is better than being on three different things and you're inconsistent so I'm really loving this vlogging thing like I really love talking to you guys oh my gosh like I feel like me talking to you is like y'all really my homegirls hey homegirl y'all really my homegirls or homeboys you feel me we humbling together so I really um I really do want to stick to vlogging because I feel like y'all not really gonna see who Chalice is, who Mocha is, and really bother me. Um, I'm really a genuine person, so it's just like I feel like I don't show myself enough. And content creating nowadays, I feel like people want to know who you are. Yeah, you got a business. Yeah, you do this. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, you successful. But who are you? Like, what do you do in your everyday life? Are you just making wigs all day? Like, what do you do? So, um, I kind of like you, like, since I've been blogging, um, this is my, I think I just, y'all yeah, going to see another vlog, but since I've been blogging, I really have been getting more comfortable with talking to you guys. Like, you know, I told to y'all, like, I'm not, y'all got really my homegirls and my homeboys. That's what y'all, yeah, that's what I'm going to call y'all. Hey, homegirl, hey, homeboy. <laughs> yeah, my homegirls and my homeboys, real shit. Um. And that's just like that's who I am. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm really the home. Like as a female, I'm the homeboy. Like I'm just so ch I'm too chill. Like a lot of people will like if you personally know me or if you ever link me, I'm just like I'm real laid back. Like nothing. I'm like I'm so unbothered. Sometimes I be bothered, but I try not to get things to affect me. You know because. It's just life, you know, but you don't want things to affect you so much because that shit could throw you off your pattern, throw you off your path, throw you off like your your spirit, your mood. And I'm just learning, that you, especially as I get older, like you cannot, if things, if you cannot fix it right then and there, just let it be, you know, it makes us just try to fix something and 
it has no way of fixing it. Sometimes you just have to let situations play out for itself, okay? Um, oh, another thing, right? So, let me go back. So, what I'm going to do with my content creating is just let you guys get to know me and who I am, really. Um, and I don't... I'm still... If I do... A lot of you do. I still do wigs. Yes, I still do make my wigs. But I really just want to get into this creative. I just want to get this creative bag. I ain't going to hold y'all. You know, um, I'm still learning. I've been watching a lot of doing a lot of research actually on like how to connect with companies, reach out to companies and stuff like that. So once I get the tea on that, I got y'all. Trust me, I'm still learning myself. So I don't want to put no information out there that I don't know yet, if that makes sense. Um, so a lot of people feel like I don't have friends because I'm never really outside like that i remember one time i did go out with one of my homegirls i'm like yo you have friends a lot of people feel like i don't have friends i do have friends however my circle of friends is really 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 small really 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 small and it's small because i'm just such like a reserve i'm an introvert like i i always been a popular loner if nobody if you know what that means a popular learner loner is someone that you know mad people, mad people know you, but you're just so, you're such an introvert and so to yourself that you're not outside as much. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, but if I go outside, I'm definitely going to have a good time with you, you know? But I'm such a popular loner that people, um, they know of me, I know of them, um, but I'm just, I'm just a homebody and it's okay. It's okay. Um. I'm learning to like try to do I want to do at least two things for myself or going out at least twice a month you know it don't have to be like every week because just just not me but I do want to step out of that zone to like go out and actually do stuff because networking is just where it's at period and I do want more friends I feel like I don't have enough entrepreneur friends and content creator friends and that's because i just don't go out you know my current friends are doing the damn thing but my current friends are in their own field i have friends that are into um law they're into criminal justice they're into creative directing you know my friends are in different areas they're not really into like um entrepreneurship or even content creating so it's just like i need to find those type of friends and how do you find those type of friends i feel like um in my last vlog i met i met up with this i met up with b and i've been liking her feet like her feet is dope so when i came to texas i'm like yo i hit her up i'm like yeah i'm about to be out here if you are not doing anything let's link and she was with it so it's just really like kind creator friends and entrepreneur friends want friends like them you know what i'm saying so you just have to reach out um and i'm not saying to be frenzy frenzy oh you my best friend but like you just have to fill out people vibes and you if you don't know how to fill out people vibes i can't teach you how to fill out people vibes but you can feel when somebody's actually genuine okay you can't feel it. If they don't feel genuine, let it go. Um, all my friends are fucking genuine. I love my bitches. Like, oh, every last one of them. You feel me? They are genuine. They are very supportive. And what I do, I'm supportive in what they do. The thing is, me and my friends don't talk. We don't talk every day. Um, I don't talk to any of my friends like every, every day. Like, we call each other once in a while. We check up on each other here and there. But everybody, like, everybody's getting grown. Everybody is doing their own thing. Everybody's going through this adulting. So, it's like people are going through their own shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you can't really, sometimes, I feel like as an adult and growing, sometimes you don't want to talk. Like, I don't want to talk, uh, talk about my problems. I need my problems fixed. So, I definitely understand if you feel like your, your friend is being distant with you, don't take it personal. She's probably going through stuff that she just want to, you know, fix on her own. Like, sometimes you don't take everything personal. Sometimes your friends are actually really going through life situations where they don't want to talk about their problem. We're not young no more where we can talk and everything will be fine. No, I need fucking solutions. Like, I, if you're not paying this bill for me if you're not doing this for me i i i need solutions so if you're not giving me solutions to get whatever problem i'm having fixed right here and then i don't want to talk about it 
And that's just me. And sometimes, yes, you do need to talk, but not everybody wants to talk when they're going through stuff. So if you do have a friend, and just a, this is something I'm learning, if you do have a friend, it's best to check up on them and just tell them, yeah, you know, I know, like, it's just life. You're going to go through stuff. You'll get through it. But anytime you want to talk, holla at me. You know what I'm saying? But don't get, um, don't feel away if you feel like your friends are being distant with you because it's people go through shit. Especially adulting when you're turning this adulting thing. And I'm saying that because I feel like I've been distant with my friends. And it's like, not that I don't fuck with them anymore. It's just, I'm learning adulting. And it's just like, I'm not going to hit you up and let your pay this vote for me. Like, I have to figure shit out on my own. So, the same way you're, you're figuring shit out, they're figuring shit out too. Um... So that's my little, you know, friendly. If you got any friends, you know, I want love friendly TED talk with y'all. <laughs> okay. Um, guys, my makeup has been really doing it for me lately. And I feel it's because my skincare has been, I've really been taking really, 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 really good care of my skin. If you guys have not watched my nighttime skincare routine, where I started using good Molly Cools um, and some other products. The I would say good molecules. This shit right here. It has, I feel like I see such an improvement in my skin. No funny shit. I feel like all my like hyperpigmentation scars, they're still there, but they're getting lighter, you know? And I'm trusting the process. I'm definitely trusting the process. I am loving how my skin is looking it's looking really glowy it's looking very vibrant um one thing i learned with my makeup because i never used to do this i never even really used to moisturize my skin when i used to put makeup i used to moisturize but i never used to have my skin drenched in moisturizer because i used to feel like since i'm oily it's gonna make me more oily but honestly guys I feel like when you really do moisturize your skin to the full potential, it just, your makeup just glides on so much, so much better. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like my skin has been doing the necessary things it needs to do. And I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's just, you know, keeping it up there, making it continue to get better. Um, I still have not been drinking enough water as I should and I'm trying to change that. If you guys have some tips on how do you drink frequent water? Is it a way like helps you to drink more water? I don't I don't know how to explain this because I know I should be drinking more water, but it's just like the what I just don't see myself picking up a water bottle. And it's just like damn. And I know I need to pick up a water bottle because water is another way to keep your skin looking hydrated and healthy. So what is like some ways? to help you drink more water i'm not gonna lie i did the lemon water thing and i really did love it the only thing i didn't like about the um lemon water was that it i tried the first time the whole bottle the first time it was good but then i left it overnight and it was too lemony like it was just so bitter and i'm like oh no i can't drink this so i may have to like cut up lemons every time and just put it fresh lemons because leaving lemons in there overnight is just it's just not it it wasn't working i wasn't fucking with it i'm almost done my makeup i've been like really trying to i really want to get into learning how to do makeup makeup but these simple faces is always going to do it for your girl period okay <laughs> Simple, simple, simple will always do it for me. I feel like I got this natural beat down pack that I don't have to really go in and learn eyeshadow. Simple is always best. What they call it, the Insta Betty Beat? Simple and clean. Um, that's really how I'm liking my makeup nowadays. Just I'm trying to just master this one face. Because once you master this one face, that's all you really need. You just need to master that one face. Where is my bronzer? Almost done. What time is it? It's 9.56. I really want to go downstairs and 
and take pictures if I have time which I might so because the pool is so fire down there so I kind of want I don't want to waste it I kind of want to go take pictures by the pool just so it, I can have some pictures even though I don't post right away just so I can have some and that's one thing I'm learning by content creation like sometimes you just if you have a moment to take pictures take pictures because you need to keep on posting people want to see you they want to know what you're up to what you're doing um they just want to see they want to live through you okay um and don't feel because don't feel that your life is not so amped up and hyped up that you can't post because my life is not like that. I don't go out all the time. I'm not a party person all the time. But people connect to you two different ways. They may connect to you because you're humble as fuck. They may connect to you because you like being at home, you like decorating your house, you like chilling with your man. People connect to people through different ways. And sometimes um, some people may feel like, yo, you're just realistic. You're a realistic person, you know? Some people don't have it all the time to go out every week. So it's just like, when you don't, what do you do? How can you make your life exciting without doing, going and spend money? And that's what I'm trying to learn. That's what I'm learning. Like, my, I feel like my life, I, I love how my life is because it's very simple. Simple, but I feel like I do shit, especially when I'm home. Like, we be doing Taco Tuesdays. We be, we be living. Like, we got the hookah in the house. Like, Everything that I can go outside and pay money to do, I got that shit right in my house for free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. But yeah, I'm gonna miss this lifter gloss from the Maybelline is so freaking pretty. It's like a peach tone because I'm kind of wearing like an orange kind of orange pink and peach today, so I kind of wanna incorporate like a little peach tone. My lips. And bit my butter gloss and just making a little bit brighter. I love my makeup though. You, you know, we wake up early. There you go, so pretty. Mm. Lip combo, okay. All right, so what did I do? Because I just made a lip combo, right? I use a brown, dark brown liner pencil around my, line, my liner. It was my lip liner. And then I went in with the Maybelline Lip Lifter Gloss. And I think it's the shade Amber 007. Can you see it? 007. And then I went in with NYX Butter Gloss. And this is Madeline. Lip combo! <laughs> I don't know how I want to do my hair next. I really want to get... I really want to do that fish tail braid that's kind of like trending. Um... I really want to do that. I, I want to do it with like highlights. I love me some. I love blonde hair. Period. Okay. Guys, I'm learning to. I don't want to use the word it girl, but I'm learning to. I feel like once my hair, like since today, like since I did my maintenance, I just feel like I feel so much better being on camera. Because I feel like, you know, um, I just love my appearance. So I I I feel like if you are trying to get in content creating and you feel like you know you're not liking how you're looking or you just want to be on camera or it's something, try to to do necessary things to make you feel good about yourself. Like the for me getting my nails done, me doing my hair, me doing my lashes, and I'm not saying go out and splurge on maintenance. That's not what I'm saying. But do daily luxuries or daily stuff or things, maintenance stuff that makes you feel good. So if you feel like, I'm going to get my nails done so I can, you know, clap in a camera and do it. Let's do that because I just feel like I feel good. Like I feel like I can talk to you. I give you more content because my appearance is there. I don't really want to wet my hair too much because I kind of like how it dried up. But I'm just going to wet it a little bit so it can look like something. Yeah, I really cut this hair. This hair was 28 inches and I cut it. But it's not bad. All right, guys, so let's get dressed. Hey! <laughs> All right, so I have it right here. I'm going to put on this nice, 
cider. I got this dress from cider. Really super cute. Let's. Let me go put it on and be right back. <laughs> My shoes are ego. Uh, it's getting real summer. She and I got some hoops. I believe these are Forever 21. My watch is from Amazon. I really like it. It's like dainty, but it's still giving like cute. And guys, this right here, you wouldn't believe. Yeah, you see what it say? What it say? Oh, okay. This is from Amazon. I kid you fucking not. Amazon. This is a good, this is what you call bougie on a budget. I paid $49 for this. No cat. No rat cat. <laughs> Look like her mess to me. <laughs> My fragrance is her. By Burberry. Bad Bottega. Basically the finished look. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this get ready with me. Let me show y'all the whole fit night E. I'm video this really get cute get ready with me make sure to like comment and subscribe all the details on my outfit will be in the description box um yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>